Hello class, uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to set up a material instance that uses a tinting node. So uh, the basic process is I'm just going to right click in here and say new material. And I'm going to call this M underscore tint, right? So that's M for material underscore, right, to separate it. And then tint because that's the type of material this is going to be. Uh, I just imported a texture here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off sRGB because I do want to use the separated channels of this as masks. And now I'm going to double click to open up my material and I just kind of float the window here. And then I want to bring in my three maps. I'm going to bring in my AORM, my base color, as well as my normal. So I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to plug the base color. I'm going to plug that straight in. The ambient occlusion, which is the red channel. The green channel is my roughness. My blue is my metallic. And I'm going to plug my normal map. And again, the normal uses the full RGB. The base color, again, uses the full RGB. So we use the white dot at the top. All right. So here's my basic simple map. Now, if I wanted to add a node in here that would allow me to tint. What I could do is if I move this guy back, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a multiply. I'm going to drag that full color and plug that in here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to type in constant and I want a constant three vector. I'm going to take that and plug that in to the B channel. Or the B input. And I'm going to take this whole thing, plug it into base color. All right now you see this is all black. And that's because this con this constant is currently set to black. So if I change it, I'm going to click over here. I'm going to constant. I'm going to drag the value up to white. Click OK. And now it's this bright white color, right? So it's neutral. So if I hit save, that's going to be it at its most basic. So if I want to change this. I'm going to right click and say convert to parameter and I'm going to type in base underscore underscore color and this guy I'm going to convert to parameter I'm going to call this tint this next one I'm going to convert to parameter I'm going to call this AORM and the next one I'm going to right click and call this normal so now if I hit save I'm just going to save this out and I'll just close it so there's my M underscore tint. So if I right click and go into materials and textures, and this time I select material instance, I'm going to call this MI underscore. Now the base texture I'm working with is a stucco. So I'm going to call it stucco underscore red and hit enter. So now when I double click, it's a totally different interface on it when you go to a material instance. What you do is you click on the parent right? The original one that I just set up parameters. And you come here to details where it says parameter, you click on the little arrow. And now you see it changes. And basically now you have these inputs. And so currently I want to keep using everything that's in here, but I want to change the tint. So if I click here, I have my options. I can change number values for RGB, or I can click here on the little clicker and I could drag it up to red. And now I have a red tint and I can adjust that color and tune it and make it as red as I want, right? So just click OK. And so it's the basic process for setting up the most basic, most simple tinting that goes all the way across. All right, so I could always save that. And if I want to, I can right click and I could duplicate this one and change this one to be green. And if I open it up, there it is. The tint's already turned on. I can click and I can change that color value. You can make it very dark, very light. And it's really up to you to adjust it uh, to be whatever color you want. So it's a very simple and easy process to do. Um, if you don't want to have tints, you could still use this as a way to make creating materials a lot easier for yourself. So that's really it. Now the the thing you would do with these is let's go ahead, let's pop open my arch here. And if I come in, 
And I'm just going to assign that parent, the master one, in here and hit save. And close that. And so if I drop that arch into the world, one, and clone them a couple of times, what I could do is I could then take the tint and do an override on the material so that I get a different version of it. There we go. So there's the default, here's a green version, and here's a red version. And so that's how you set up a tint material inside of Unreal.